that curl, like, it's not gonna sugarcoat anything. It'll tell the truth. What do you think are the biggest strides you've made from the spring to now, and when did you know that you're gonna be part of the rotation? Um, I say my confidence um, and my technique. I got a lot better in my technique over the spring. Playing all 15 practices against receivers like Tariq, that really helped me out a lot. And I pretty much know, knew I was gonna be a part of the rotation. Um, kind of when Ambry went down and he was going through what he was going through with his stomach, I knew somebody had to step up and fill in that role. So. What were your conversations like with Ambry after the game? Um, I was so proud of him. It was crazy. Like, cause I talk to Ambry every day, so he he's played a big impact in like helping me get to where I'm at as a player and as a person. So I was so proud of him. Like, I look at him as a big brother. You mentioned that when he was going through this situation that you were preparing potentially to step in there for him. Mm. When did you get a sense that he was going to be able to go on, on Saturday and do what he did? Um, probably like a week a week before the end, to be honest. He came back. He started getting his regular reps again. Started looking like Ambry Thomas again. So, I mean, I pretty much knew a week, a week ahead of the game, like, he's going to be back and ready to go. You said Coach Zorda, just honest with you. What did he say to you after the game about the way he played? Um, just I had a, a little bit of technique errors that I need to work on. Um, but for the most part, he thought I did really good. But just a little bit. A little bit of things personally for me to clean up moving forward. Was it intimidating at all to step in in a defense that, you know, was one of the top in the country and also lost some players to the NFL? I mean, no, it was intimidating because, I mean, like, I've had players like David Long and LeVert mm -hmm. uh, help me out since I got on campus. So just, just learning from them and just taking them, they, they preached to me and watching them, mm -hmm. it's just like, it's prepared me. Did you hear from David at all? No, yet. Okay. I didn't hear that yet. But he's going, he got, he's got games and stuff. Going you look like you have the frame to add some weight. Is that something that you're still trying to do? Yeah, yeah, okay. most definitely. And uh, you have, what weight are you now, and, and where do you want to be? Have they talked to you about that? Um, no, they haven't talked to me about anything okay. yet, but I'm 185 right now. Okay. I was hoping to be about 190 before the season, but I'm just going to be For defensive back, is there a bigger role in, in run support when you play a triple option team like Army? Yes, most definitely. We, um, we always have run, run gaps that we're supposed to be accounted for anyway, so it's just like another another game to be honest. Being accountable for your gap, is that like one of the main things you have to do against a team that runs the option and you know the ball could go a lot of different places when they can make this happen? Uh, I think the, the biggest the biggest thing about going to a game like this is eye discipline mm -hmm. and just not being low to sleep by their run game and knowing that they can still break out any type of pass whenever they want to. So just, just being focused and remaining focused the whole game, that, that's going to be you guys let Levert know about his drop pick? Man, <laughs> he was, yeah, right after that, yeah. he know he dropped some money, but he gonna make it up. He gonna make it up for sure. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks.